What's up, everyone? It is Kevin from Save the Game Media, and in today's video, we're taking a look at... And if that didn't tell you everything you need to know about this game, don't worry, because we're going to dive deep into gory, cuddly carnage. Before that, if you're new around here and like brand new game reviews like this one, hit that subscribe button. Quick shout out to Angry Demon Studio and Wired Productions for providing a code for this review. Without further ado, let's get into it. Gory Cuddly Carnage sees you take on the role of Gory, a cute cat that enjoys the same thing most cats do. Pets balls of yarn, and saving the world. Gory, along with his inappropriate wise-cracking hoverboard Frank and his depressed AI companion Chip, are looking for their creator, which leads them to Earth. Earth has been overrun by evil toys, and it's up to Gory to take down the adorable army. Now, the story may sound absolutely ridiculous, but behind all that is actually a pretty touching story about the bond of an owner and their pet. The story is delivered through comic book style cutscenes between each level, beautifully illustrated and voice acted. As someone with two cats, it did hit me in the feels. But if you're not here for the story, and most of you probably aren't with a game like this, let's talk about the Tony Hawk meets Devil May Cry style action gameplay. There are eight main levels in Gory Cuddly Carnage with additional challenge levels thrown in. Each level has their own unique theme like a toxic waste dump, underwater, and my personal favorite, the arcade machine level. Each level will see Gory traverse through them with the help of Frank. It's very much a 3D platformer, which came as a welcome surprise. Movement is fluid, and you grind on rails or billboards, and while this is an automated motion, it does give you a nice sense of satisfaction. You're able to utilize your boost, jumps, and dash to navigate the levels in creative ways, although it is ultimately a linear experience. Combat. Well, combat is nothing short of bloody. You'll find yourself fighting mass waves of toy unicorns that you can slice in half, decapitate, and rip to absolute shreds. As you progress, the enemies will get even more crazy with unicorn variants, floating doll heads, giant ladybugs, and even toy houses, all for you to absolutely massacre. Gory has a variety of tacks at their disposal, a slash, a bash, and even a rocket launcher. I was worried that the game would get repetitive, but I never felt bored or annoyed when a combat sequence started. They're just a blast to play. Zipping around the arena and especially hitting those KO finishing moves was always satisfying. Performance-wise, Gory is flawless. I played on the Xbox Series X, where three graphical options are available, and of course, I chose the performance mode, which in this case is upscaled 4K, 120 FPS, and let me tell you, not a single frame dropped. Gory is a hub-based game, so in between levels, you'll return to your ship, and here you can upgrade Gory's damage, their health, their fuel, but you can also customize Gory, who starts out as an orange cat, but you can change their fur, their outfit. You can make them match your own cat, just like I did with my tiger tabby cat. Gory Cuddly Carnage may look like just another violent hack and slash game, but there's so much more to it. A surprising narrative, a fun and creative take on 3D platforming mixed with a fantastic combat system makes Gory Cuddly Carnage one of my favorite experiences of the year. I highly recommend this game, available right now for just $20. There's also a demo available if you want to try it for yourself, but that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below if you've played it. Until next time, I've been Kevin for Save the Game Media. See ya.